mother when she was 90, uh, 75. She is 95 now. She's sharp as a tack, in good health, and I want to celebrate her while she's still here. I was pissed off with her, and I wanted to show her how ghoulish she was. She held it up and she went, oh my God, that's so expressive. <laughs> I remember making this painting too. We had just come back from driving through the rural south in 1956, and I saw segregation for the first time. And I, I was horrified and it, it, it was a lasting impression on me. My mom was always there with the right art supply at the right time. This is an oil painting. It's called Dad's Happy Place. <laughs> and uh, I, I saw it recently and it's like, isn't it phallic? Look at that, unbelievable. <laughs> mom and I would take the D train down to 57th Street, so I could go to the Art Students League. And I was meant to, be, to draw still lives, but in the, the next room, which was very open, was the life drawing class, and that's what I was drawn to. <laughs> Having my portfolio accepted, I had the opportunity to go to music and art. At music and art, you did your classes in the morning, and all afternoon you made art. You do two-dimensional art, three-dimensional art, art history. Uh, oh, and you got to be a bohemian immediately. <laughs> I'm showing you this picture because this is what I saw out the window of my parents' apartment when my dad was very ill. And it changed my work and my, my life forever. And um, this piece is called Cherished Heart. And I made it with my mother in mind. It's a sculpture that comes out of the wall. And it's porcelain. The hands are cast. The, the um, heart, of course, is hand built. This piece is called Hair Suit. And it is a, uh, like a pun, visual pun, on the word hirsute, H-I-R-S-U-T-E. And uh, it's 19 inches tall and is uh, very, very detailed. And it's made from tea bags, which I open and iron in a very meditative state. And part of the Detail is what adds to the discomfort about the piece. So it's, it's funny and uncomfortable at the same time. And that's what I like in my work, more than one thing. This piece is called Pink Tutu. And it's a uh, porcelain pot, pinch pot, gone awry. And I held on to it for years. And finally, I have a thing about ruffles. It was like, that's it, that's the finish of it. Um, I still draw, and so this is a little study of the tea bag part of the pink tutu piece. I do drawings after the sculptures are made. I, I do the, I don't even put them in a sketchbook. This is a series I'm working on called The Hand You Are Dealt. And there's nothing to do with that hand there. What it is, they're markers, they're metaphors for the situations and the conditions that each of us is born into because that creates the context to our lives. This is a monoprint called Shoa. I grew up in a neighborhood with a lot of Holocaust survivors, and nobody talked about it. This is my remembrance, my memorial. 
The woman across the hall from me with a tattoo on her arm, she, she walked like she didn't want anyone to see her. It was heartbreaking. This is also a monoprint, more painterly. It's called Comings and Goings. And uh, I am a gardener, and I've had a lot of plants come from seed and be gone. I'm also a fine art photographer, serious photographer. I was just thinking on the way here, I haven't been without a camera for 40 years. This is Salmon Hole. Uh, right before you go on the bridge to Winooski. Um, I like to photograph water. It always reflects light so beautifully. This is the last piece of mine I'm going to show you. It's called Bag of Tears. And it was inspired by Elie Wiesel when he spoke here in 2007. He talked about traveling around the world, I think the man was 75, to wherever there was a genocide and he would sit and listen to the survivor's stories. And he said no survivor got through their story without crying. So sometimes he felt he was traveling around the world collecting a bag of tears. So this bag has every genocide of the 20th century. And it, it's filled with tears, overflowing. We came across some work recently so what you're looking at is a painting from my childhood on the left. On the right is my dog, Cassie. <laughs> Gotten, I don't know, 50, I don't remember making that painting. And then the next uh, slide, uh, which I think is the last slide you're gonna see, is also, look at the little red house. This is my little red house, my garden was around back. And so I wanna say, I don't know how things manifest, but I've had amazing things happen in my life. And I think art is very important. And thank you for looking at my work.